What is up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Tim. Thanks so much for clicking on today's YouTube video. In today's video, I want to talk about the Mac 10. This is the particular weapon of focus for today's video, in particular because this weapon is now pay to win in Call of Duty Warzone. I'm going to explain how, I'm going to explain why, and uh, basically, if you want to do well in Warzone or do way better than someone who doesn't want to spend money on this game, you can easily do so by spending real life money. And uh, obviously, Warzone is not something you should be, you know, paying to win. Battle Royales, it should be as fair as possible, right? And pay to win weapons obviously don't need i don't even need to say this but obviously pay to win weapon should not be anywhere near this game before i start quick reminder subscribe leave a like if you're new okay it really helps me out so check out all the socials down below twitter twitch discord i'm gonna try to stream a little bit more often than i currently have been but yeah definitely uh, go follow me on all that stuff down below the gameplay you're watching, by the way, is uh, some hardcore free-for-all. I'm Pines. I'm using the Bolano, I think, and I just I pretty much go to work on these people. These people were really bad in this lobby. It's not reverse boosted or anything, because I don't know how you reverse boost in a free-for-all, but yeah, it's it's good gameplay, so hopefully you enjoy that. Now let's talk about it. So if you weren't aware, in Warzone, previously in Warzone, the DMR, the MAC-10, uh, the Diamates, like these were some of the most powerful weapons in Call of Duty Warzone as of, I think, last week, and so uh, basically everyone was running them, right? Like everyone's using the same class setup, the same weapons everyone's just using the meta because if you use anything else in something like a battle royale you're gonna get screwed you, you can't really go too far off if you're a great player of course you can kind of you know you have more variance in what you can use if you're like a swag or a k3 obviously you can use trash guns and still do well because you still have game sense you still have aim maybe aim by i'm not i didn't say that who said that what but yeah you can pretty much get away with more things but obviously for like normal players like average players like me I, i'd consider myself an average warzone player maybe even slightly below average at this point because i'm playing forever but for about average players uh the mac 10 was you know turning people who were average into pretty good players right it had a really uh, high fire rate it had good headshot multiplier it did a lot right it was it was really good as melting people up close and a lot of people gravitated towards this mac 10 because it was new also so, and a lot of people just like using Cold War weapons in Warzone. I think people are just kind of bored of the mono warfare weapons, maybe. Personally, I'm on the train that I don't think Cold War weapons should have been into Warzone. Uh, I, I just think that it just messes up the balance and the meta and all that stuff. Like, it, it introduces a new meta, which is cool, but at the same time, it ruins an existingly okay meta, you know? So, I mean, I feel like they spend a lot of time perfecting it, you know, like nerfing the growl and the shotguns and stuff like that, just to bring in a bunch of new weapons and completely, like, botch the meta again. I don't know, that's a topic for a different discussion let me know what you think about that personally like i said i don't think cold war weapons should have been included in warzone just just based on that but like i was saying all those weapons the dmr the mac 10 the pistols they were all nerfed right on january 6th which was uh three days ago from the time you're watching this oddly enough one of the blueprints that came out if you don't know what a blueprint is it's basically like a variation of the same gun with a specific set of attachments with like a slightly different camo i think that's like the best way to describe a blueprint in in post 2019 call of duties personally I can't imagine spending any amount of money on this. It's the same gun with like the same attachments that you can run normally with like a slightly different camo. Like if you're going for the camo, I guess, sure. But I think people are paying like 15 bucks for these blueprints or something. Like I don't understand what you're paying for. I'm sorry. If, you, if you're buying blueprints, man, like you, you really can't even see it, right? Like operators maybe you can see it here and there like in your warzone loading screen or something like okay i guess you get some value there maybe some people are just like i don't know just don't like seeing jigsaw or something okay whatever like a blueprint bro come on man come on you're better than that don't be behind blueprints out here nobody notices if if i come across a gun and i can't tell if it's a blueprint or not like yeah there's an issue okay like just don't, don't be spending your money on that however you may want to spend your money on this because according to jgod's testing the Mac 10's blueprint was not affected by the January 6th nerf. Basically, uh, you know, the Mac 10's nerf was the uh, let me see, the decreased headshot multiplier, and so the blueprint variation doesn't have that same uh, effect. Previously, it used to do 40 damage um, per shot to the head, and then recently, by patch, it went down to 30 per headshot. And unfortunately, what we're seeing here is that the blueprinted uh, Mac 10 still does 40 damage a shot to the head. A side tangent to that: the recoil was actually easier to control. Control with the blueprint version of the MAC-10 SMG 
compared to just the regular Mac 10. And so obviously you can tell, yeah, that's an issue, okay? You don't want to be forcing people to spend money on this game. I mean, I, I guess if you're Activision, you do, but yeah, in a real business, in a real, you know, world, you don't really want to be forcing people, okay? It's not a good look. People are going to be upset. I don't think people want to be opening up their wallets to pay for, like I said, a blueprint. Strangely enough, in this case, you can actually see like, uh, yeah, this, um, this gun is better than the regular Mac 10 version. And, and the crazy part about this is that the Mac 10 is already a quote unquote DLC weapon in another game that you have to buy in order to unlock, right? Like, I don't think you can get the Mac 10 in Modern Warfare. You just can't use it. So if you want to stay with me here, in order to use this busted, you know, in order to use the best gun in the game right now, you have to buy Cold War. You have to play enough to unlock a gun. You have to use the gun a lot to unlock all the attachments, that's three if you're keeping track so far. And lastly, you have to buy the specific blueprint, which means you have to buy the game, spend time with the game, and then buy more stuff within another game just to use the best weapon in another game, Call of Duty Warzone, right? I was talking about Cold War previously. You have to do all that stuff in Cold War, you know, time and money, and put that into Warzone just to do well in Warzone. If that doesn't bother you as a rational consumer, I, I don't know what to say to you. Um, yeah, I don't know. Go work for Activision if that doesn't bother you because any anybody who's actually just, you know, regularly wanting to play and do well in Warzone, they should bother the hell out of you, all right? And lastly, I just want to say I get that this is most likely just a small little mishap. Like, I don't think Activision or Infinity Ward or whoever, I don't think they're intentionally being like, oh, hey, hey, you have to buy this so that we make like extra money on you and then we'll nerf it back later. I don't think they're doing that. I'm not highlighting this so you do buy it because I personally think it's a mistake. I personally think they just didn't play test it. Ooh, big shock from Infinity Ward, by the way. And so when you don't play test it, you end up with, you know, garbage situations like this where people who spend more money actually do better. Imagine that. That's crazy, right? But anyway, that's basically going to do it for me. Uh, let me know your thoughts on it. Do you think it's an accident? Do you think it was intentional on the side of uh, Infinity Ward or whoever developing Warzone right now? Like, do you think that's intentional? Do you think it's an accident? Uh, what do you think about the Mac 10? Also, let me know your thoughts on that in the comments section down below. And lastly, just want to say thank you so much for the support. All right. Like uh, yesterday's Warzone video did much better than I expected. So, you know, I, I was previously kind of just trying to stay away from Warzone videos, but like here and there, I'll, I might just drop some Warzone, you know, not gameplays, but like Warzone videos and topics and stuff like that, just because I can't always talk about Cold War every single day. And, you know, Warzone's still a pretty hot topic in YouTube. So uh, hopefully you enjoyed that. But yeah, if you did, make sure to leave a like, subscribe if you're new to the channel. Again, socials are in the description down below. Twitter, Twitch, Discord, all that stuff's in the description. Going to be trying to streaming on uh, Mondays and Thursdays. So hopefully you follow me on Twitch and uh, I'll see you there. With all that being said, appreciate you guys for watching the video and make sure to have a good weekend. I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Yo, what? If you actually stuck around this long, hey, guess what? It's post-edit Tim, and I didn't want to, you know, leave you with the, uh, you know, too much just the gameplay to watch. So, uh, you know, I figured I'd just entertain you guys with a little bit of nonsense here for the last little 30 seconds, 40 seconds. I don't know. Uh, let me know what your 2021 resolutions are. All right, like that'd be that'd be cool. You know, uh, personally, I want to try to like work out more and maybe do like some hit workouts. If you know any hit workouts or any YouTube channels to check out, go ahead and drop them in the comments or tweet them at me. I'll pretty active on Twitter, so I'll see him pretty often. Or you can, you know, do that stuff in Discord too, uh, which you probably should have followed by now. So I think I've rambled on enough to fill out the rest of the time. Anybody who's stuck around this long, you get to hear my non-edited post com voice or whatever, I, I guess. Yeah, hopefully you enjoyed it. Uh, I kind of went off in this gameplay, as you can tell. Ooh, look at this Milano. Anyway, that's it for the video. Now, I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, yeah, I don't know. If you didn't like the video, I've told you like five times. I, I feel like you're not going to anymore. So I'm not going to ask. Anyway, that's it. Bye.